Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today, I'm going to sort this pond out, get it all sorted, all cleaned out on that. All the filters are rammy, so the Nexus, the Draco on that. Once we're flushing through, cleaning out, give it a good jet washing. Obviously the media won't uh, clean off like, the bacteria. So it's only at, what degree is it today? It's at 13 degrees today. So the, if any mid treatments or anything going in, with any parasites or anything, give them a little scrape on that. Give them a check over. So I've noticed a couple of got a couple of sores on. There's a few sores on these, so I need to maybe ball a couple up and have a look. Have a good nosy at them, see if they're all right. So I'll give them a scrape. So I've seen a couple of flashing. So we've got to keep on top of them. So yeah, go through it. Go and uh, sort his necks out. Give it a good jet washing. And we'll go from there. Going to give this a good wash out today as well. A jet wash through. So we'll clean all the drum system. Do a good cleaning through. So you can see it's all built up. All manky. Look at that. So I've had the UV off all uh, winter. So I've not even had it on yet. The pond I've started got a bit greeny, a bit dirty, a bit murky. So a bit of algae. As you can see, a bit of a state. I'm going to give this a good jet washing today. Obviously not the media, just around the sides and stuff. I'm going to wash it all through, a little system going through. So obviously, do a good clean on the Draco as well. Give that a bit of a good jet washing, so it's not too bad actually. It's doing its job, can't fault it. And what I'll do, disconnect all this lot now, open the mains, from here, pull it out, and do a good jet wash. Obviously, in here where the Draco drops in the Jump at the bottom down there. That's how I'll show you how it all works. All goes in. So it's quite an easy, simple way to get in and out. See in a sec. Oh, so that's where the water's coming in on the main pressure. That's it through here. I'm going to turn this lever off. You see it's a bit manky in there. It's good cleaning here. Cobwebs and everything. So that needs changes as well now. That's knackered. So I've got the big blue now I'm going to put it on here. So obviously, all you just this one here. Now I just have to put it down a second. Need two hands on that. I see I pulled that out. Pull it out of there. That's all off now. So what you do, disconnect this here from me as well. This bit. That goes in the box. That's the computer system. Go into that. It's all disconnected. So that should pull straight out now. Let's pull it out. As you can see there now. So that's the, where the waste goes to. Obviously that's where it goes into your bio chamber to the side. So that's just full to there now. It's keeping the media going. That's where I dropped it earlier on. You can see how manky it is. So now again, you've got to take them out. Give them a good jet washing. Obviously there's no UV on, so the algae just built up. All come through. It's all sorted. Obviously, this here, this is the way you shoot. That goes in the bottom of there. This is the Nexus. Uh, this is your pipe, your main pipe coming in. Comes through, it comes in there. Let's take that in there, the ramming. Make sure that just pushes on onto that section there. That's all out. Let's take it outside. And give it a good cleaning. There you go, just put it outside now. And see, ramming. Manky it is. So you've got to keep jet washing down again. So about twice a year, take it out, give it a good cleaning. I'm saying it's a straightforward take out, just pull in and pull out. Nice and easy. So you've got to look after it, give it a jet wash. So yeah, I've had it for six years, this system now. Obviously, it was on the, the Evolve at first, but I wanted more media, so I put the Nexus back in. But eventually, I've got another drum system that will be going in here. As you can see, give it all jet wash now and sort it out. That's it, all nice jet wash down now. All sorted. It's time to go in here now. You get all this crap. All gone. Get the jet washer here now, so it goes through there and comes out. I'll see in here as well. Clean all this side off. What I'll probably do is scrape the side so it don't all go back in the media. Get a rag and clean it all out. As you see, it's manky. So you've got to keep up with your maintenance. Or else it ends up like this. I've never had it this bad before. So we need to start getting on top of it again now on these things. If you don't, you ain't got a problem, so keep on top of it. Keep a nice healthy pond. So it's clean. It's all cleaned out now. Obviously, I haven't scrubbed it all, just jet washed it all. Got all the crap off the sides. I'm going to drop it back in now. Put this uh, drum back up and running. Just sort it out. Got nice and clean now, up and running. All cleared free. A lot better than the water is. So it was minging earlier on. And down there it's a little bit murky. No, it's not, it's just a bit of crap there on the side still. Obviously the jet wash the rest off here. Obviously the media's not been jet washed. Been most of the sides off, got all that crap off. This is all up and running now. All sorted, a bit of press. 
There we go. Yeah, it's not bad. Bit of muck coming off it now. It's not long been cleaned. 20 minutes ago it says, so there shouldn't be a great lot on it. There we go. Jack goes back up and running. So here's a new system going on here. So I've got a drum system I'm going to put on eventually. This is a trophy drum I bought last year. So I've been in here 12 months now, so I need to get it up and running on this system. I'm going to bowl a couple of these up in a minute and check over them. And go through it all. So then a couple of bits of stress, stress lines on the stuff. So we've got jaws there. These fine lights are bent fish that is. So only about 20 odd years like. So he used to call jaws because one of the biggest fish in here he was. But He's not no more. We've got a few overtook him now. So we've got a big Hector down there as well. So I'm going to catch him up in a minute and bowl him up. So he was 68 cm last time I measured him. So let's see what he is now. He's got to be pushing here of 70 now. So we'll get him in a bowl and check him over. So there's a couple of these fish going this year. Uh, and a couple of the kayakus there. This one. Uh, there's another show with somewhere going. That one. That'll be going this year. Not that one, that one now. In that one. So we've got to go three more. Make some space for the toll sign stuff that's going here this year. So we've got a couple of nice ones in the other pond and probably Easter showers are going here as well eventually this year. And get them all sorted. So the filters all nice and clean now. All done. I'll scrape some of these, check them over, see if they've got any parasites and get them treated. There's Hector in the Japanese basket. He's probably near the size of the basket actually. So the basket's about 70 cm inside. So he's definitely got a couple of centimetres. So let's give him a scrape. Should we be able to get on top because he's quite high up. Drop my phone in. A bit awkward on my own. There's a bit of slime on that. As you can see, we'll give it a test. On the slide, it's a bit awkward one under, sorry. Let's put that down a sec. I'll do that in a second. So there's the thing, scrape. That's on the slide, ready to go on. Let's go look at Hector, check him over. And he's touching there, and he's touching the bottom of it. So he's definitely 70 cm, I'd say he was. So I'm not measuring him properly, I'm not going to get him out and stress him out of it in a, of a bowl. So I've got a bigger measuring bowl, but I'm not measuring properly today. So I'll do it when two of us are here. But obviously he sits in there nicely. Yeah, it's nothing up with him. Nice and clean. So I'm going to turn him over in a second before I put him back. So I'll have to put the phone down now. And, uh, I'm going to go and check him out in a minute. Check his scrape, see if it's all clean. Get back to you in a second. Uh, Miss is just holding the phone for me now. So I've just checked him over. Looks fine. So he's definitely bigger than the basket. So he's got to be 70 cm. But so they will catch him again over the summer. I'm putting a big bone check him. He's looking good. So he's good size to him. He's definitely a big old fish. Massive he is. Right, check the scrape, see you in a sec. So there's a scrape now. So I always check near the edge first. So you see all the moving particles where the water's flowing through the slide. So it's the best place to see costly and stuff. Obviously we've just checked it over 40 times for fluke. There's no fluke in there. That's not your best bet. Go on the side of the edge first. Side of the slide. And you see all the moving parts and you'll see something in there if there's anything. Instead of I found nothing yet. Looking for Costia, Children Alley, Trichodina, anything like that. I so can't see nothing there in a minute. The video's not brilliant. A bit blurry. I always go on the edge first, edge of the slide. As you can see, I've got the edge of it. So that's 10 times, that's 100 times. You can see there's nothing there, static now. I'll keep going through and see if we can find anything. I'll let you know. So 
They've been up and down about three times now, so I can't see nothing on there. So you have to make sure you focus always, because when you move it along, obviously the depths go a bit different, so you have to make sure you focus in and out all the time on it. You can catch one as you can see, in and out. So I'm going to scrape a couple more now. Let's have a check. So it doesn't mean I haven't got any parasites, so I need to check a couple more fish first and go from there. So in these uh, two fish that I put in my pond last year from the grow ones they had. So the ones that are lost, so this is the quality of them. So they're definitely good quality. Nice shower. Nice shero. Get me into uh, shero. So got plenty of potential in yet. Plenty of semen coming up. And the shower. It's got plenty of potential as well. So they said about 34 cm that one. Same with that one. So I've not measured them, so I will measure them again in the summer. So I'm not bothering just yet. So they're doing well. Very well. I'm happy with them. I'm going to move with them too. So there's two more in there as well. So there's that one there. I've had before I had a saw in him. And I can't see him. They're looking quick enough. He's in here somewhere. There's a sank in here also. I had a saw on the side of him. I'm saying these two. I'm banging at the minute. Looking at these. Impressed with them two now. So there's the Pot and Morgan. On the toe size for the other ones as well. There's also a Sankey somewhere. So I'm going to treat this uh, with chloramine tea as well today. Because you've got a bit of bacteria problem here as well. If you look at the tancho there. I had about earlier on that, checked him over, he's got a bit of a sore on his side, obviously down there's a scar on him as well. It's a shame that he's a nice fish he is. I'm not saying I'm going to treat him today, a bit of chloramine tea. Only the 5 grams per 1,000 gallons. I'm saying all the others seem fine. So there's a couple of fish going this year, this one will be going. Uh, what else is going? Probably the little Logan there, he'll be going this year. There's a shower there as well. That one's going. There's one of your sankeys, a little sankey. You can see him in the distance. Just come past the bottom now. He's one of the tall size from last year as well. See the one with the sword in. That's a shower actually, it's not a uh, sankey, sorry. It's a shower I got earlier on. So I'll treat these today. Put some uh, chloramine tea in. And get them all sorted out. And get it straight. You see the rest of them are fine. I see a bit of cat pops on this one in the back. It's a little funny bit there as well. So the car keys find that one, but one of the other car keys, he's got cat pots as well. There you go, cat pots. At the bottom, I'm just about seeing. So if they disappear and it uh, gets a bit warmer, then I'll get some cool mine tea and put it in. That's the chloramine tea that we're putting in today. Kazuri. So I've put in uh, five grams for every thousand gallons for the next five days, every 24 hours. So it does reduce the bacteria, as you can see there. So get it all in and get it all sorted. You can treat for parasites as well, it says. Uh, 15 grams for a thousand gallons for four days. It's saying I've got no parasites, as I checked. So it'll knock all the bacteria down, it says, all the bacteria levels. Well, I'll go and get this in. As you can see, the tantrum sank is swimming around again now. All nicely. So she settled down now, so I've had her earlier on. Uh, treated her a little bit. I'll sort her out, I'll sort the war wounds out. So she's looking good anyway. So she's swimming around and finished with some food and that. We're saying I'm not going to feed them for a few days now. Just going to let them all settle down again. So this chlorine mine tea and that. I'm putting that in today. And getting them all sorted. So the rest of the fish all seem good now. All seem happy. Right, that's me all sorted for today. That's all done. Uh, Clone mine tea's in. That's all sorted now. Hopefully we'll not the uh, bacteria down a little bit. Obviously the Tancho Sankey. I will catch up again next week. Keep an eye on it, make sure it's all alright. This one she got a saw on the side. If you can see it. So she's in there somewhere. She'll pop up in a minute. Anyway, thanks for all watching. Uh, if you subscribe to us, won't mind. Thank you very much. And thumbs up. Hopefully see you on the next one.